On this model, we can see structures associated with the sense of smell or olfaction. We are going to zoom into half of this model. Over here, what we can see is part of the left nasal cavity. Okay. Um, first of all, we can see the opening to the pharyngotympanic or eustachian or auditory tube here. So this connects to uh, your inner ear, your middle ear. Um, when you inhale air, the air is swirled as it encounters one, two, and three bony structures protruding into your nasal cavity. These are the superior, middle, and inferior nasal conchi. Now, one of the reasons for that is to trap any particulates to keep it from going down into your lungs. Uh, but secondly, uh, there are a lot of odorant molecules, or essentially scents, in the air. And so, when those molecules stick into the mucus on the side of your nasal cavity, they can bind to olfactory receptors within the olfactory epithelium. And we can see here uh, that this covering is the olfactory epithelium. Now, once those molecules bind, they depolarize um, the olfactory neurons and an action potential is sent up through the roof of the nasal cavity, which is called the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. And those olfactory neurons are going to synapse within this structure here. And this structure is called the olfactory bulb. Now, the postsynaptic cells make up this structure right here. Okay, this is called uh, the olfactory tract. It is cranial nerve number one, and it's going to go right back into the brain and tell the brain what types of scents were in the air that you just inhaled.